DIY Solar Homestead. DIY Solar Homestead is all about buying and creating renewable energy products so that his dream of going off grid can become a reality. While he features gardening with soil, DIY Solar Homestead is also a fan of hydro, aquaponics systems, and other methods of self-sustained food production. Topics can range from solar panels, to grow lights, to spider mites. He really loves spider mites, and he loves to breed them in the winter months. I mean, he grows everything. He even grew those lights. DIY Solar Homestead shows us his latest homestead projects, product reviews. Sometimes he'll just put out a vlog to check in about current events and his opinion on them. He also takes us to the local military aviation museum. I love those. And he discusses history and how certain aircraft or other machinery played their parts in it. It's all very fascinating to me. This veteran clearly knows his military history. Or he can read the brochures really well. <laughs> but the product reviews and field trips, you know, they're really only the sprinkles on the DIY Solar Homestead Cupcake. The main event is the solar panel array. He created it, you know. He loves to talk generators and batteries and bolts and watts almost as much as he likes to talk about his garden beds. He has got a lot of garden beds. Because he is homesteading in Michigan, the growing season isn't very long outdoors. He grows inside during the winter, wherever he can. I want to see him bring that compost bin indoors. That'll be fun. If you want to talk renewable energy, especially wind and solar, DIY Solar Homestead is your channel. Check it out. Cooking with Riri. Three guesses what kind of channel this is. Cooking with Riri has a couple of series on the channel. There's Motivation Monday, Taco Tuesdays, and Loyal Wednesdays. Most Wednesdays, you can guarantee there's going to be shout-outs. Riri's dishes weave in and out of the various menus and themes that, that we know and love in restaurants. And she's a whiz at everything from stir-fries to carnitas to vegan dishes. Yeah, I said vegan dishes. She'll also take us out to tend the lawn and her beautiful potted trees. And scorpions. Do scorpions taste like shrimp? Mmm... I don't know about that. Breakfast, appetizers, desserts, you name it, and Cooking with Riri has a creative recipe for it. Want to know how to cook your favorite restaurant's most famous dishes? Cooking with Riri has her versions also. The majority of the recipes are step-by-step, -step, no cook left behind. So your dishes, they ought to be ready at the same time as hers. Hope they look like hers, if you did it right. There's more than one right way. You can even have dinner for breakfast. So go ahead and get over there and start cooking with Riri. Now wait. I don't normally interrupt shout outs, but I need to give you a nice little warning. If you get easily creeped out or squeamish, you might want to ease into this next channel. It's not a bad channel. I mean, they, they just create their art differently than some that I featured. And some of you are going to love their channel for its content. And some of you are going to love their channel for its creators. Pet and Chic. Gotta love that motto. Hashtag create, not hate. So you love music? Specifically rock and roll and metal? Some would classify some of the videos in the horror or gore genres. But you really can't classify the subscribers of Pet and Chic. They are all over the comments section of many YouTubers. And I think they've added like every single channel that I've featured on Sunday Shoutouts within the last six months. And they watch your videos. They love their subscribers also. Every video I've seen is art, music, and shoutouts. They love their fans as much as they love their monsters and their music. Pet and Chic also occasionally upload vlogs that discuss non-monstery topics. And my guess is you're going to want to stay on the edge of your seat. In fact, I think you will stay on the edge of your seat with Pet and Chic. Solar, Wind, and Dreaming Off-Grid. Cooking, Shoutouts, and Motivation. 
Music, art, and your pet monster. Are these your people?